doing a master's degree worth it in 2024 in USA? That's not the question you should be asking. Rather, it is in what field should I pursue my master's in? If you are considering investing $50,000 or even more into a master's degree, you want to ensure that the investment pays off with high returns and high demand. So in this video, I have done all the research for you and I've handpicked the top six master's degree that you can do, which promises excellent return on investment and also has a high demand in the future. Welcome back guys. Welcome back to another video from me. If you're new to the channel, my name is Sandeep and this channel is more like an educational channel where I talk about certain stuff like masters in US, job search, data analytics. First degree, without a doubt, it's masters in computer science. It has been a degree with the highest ROI from the time computers were invented. From the biggest companies like Apple, Amazon, Meta, to even the smallest of businesses in your local area, everything runs behind a software. So having a degree in computer science opens the doors to multiple options. It's not only software developer, you can become a research scientist, data scientist, software engineer, mobile developer, web developer, MLA or AI engineer. So you might be asking if I don't have a bachelor's in computer science, can I do a master's in computer science? Yes, you can do because I have a lot of friends who did the bachelor's in ECE, then, then came here, did the master's in computer science and now they are placed in fan companies. So that's totally possible. But having said that, it is better and it might be a slight advantage if you have a bachelor's in computer science. During admissions and even during a master's program, you will find it a lot easier. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, in 2022, there were like 1.7 million computer science jobs and the field is expected to grow by 26% by 2032. There will be around 154,000 job openings for software developers, QA analysts and testers every year. To test that, I went straight ahead to LinkedIn and I just put in the word software developer. I got around 128k job postings, which is like close with the numbers BLS has predicted. And what about the pay? And so for this video, I have got salary and pay information from Glassdoor. And a software developer, according to Glassdoor, makes around 104k to 164k per year, which is averaging around 130k per year. MSN software engineering. So software engineering is like more like the broader umbrella of software development. It not only includes software development, but also includes multiple aspects of software development, like, like programming, testing, lifecycle planning, software designing, deployment and management of softwares. And software engineers are also problem solvers who have to come up with creative solutions to solve the problems at hand. So along with technical expertise, they also have this element going on and hence it's a highly skilled and highly demanding job. So if you're someone who wants to get the end-to-end -end experience of software development, then software engineering might be it. And what's the demand for it like? So it, it's same like software development. According to LinkedIn right now, there are 128,000 job postings in US. And what's the pay like? For software engineers, according to Glassdoor, the total pay can range anywhere from 125K to 204K, which averages around 160K per year, which is quite higher than software developers. Because as I said, it's a highly demanding and highly skilled job. Next degree, which is probably the favorite among all the master's pursuants right now, Amazon Data Science or Amazon Business Analytics or Data Analytics. And I'm combining all these degrees together because they are closely related and there will be a lot of overlap between these two degrees. This is perfect for people who like and love working with data impacting the business at a really high level. And this is also closely related to the information technology and management degree because the courses you take in both the degrees can be a lot similar. If you're wondering what's the difference between data science and data analytics, or uh, just think of data analytics as more like uh, analyzing the past data and seeing what are the insights you can get from it. Whereas data science, on the other hand, you will still be analyzing past data, but along with that, you're going to take it to the next level and make some predictions about the future by building machine learning algorithms and models. And in most companies, data analysts and data scientists work together. Data engineering is another interesting job which will open up. They are the ones who get the data from the source to a data warehouse or data lake. The total number of jobs in 2022 was 168,900. And the job outlook, it's expected to grow by 35 percentage by 2032, which is even a lot higher than computer science. Clearly, there is demand for data science. And I think these numbers are all for data related jobs. And it's expected that there are going to be 17,000 job openings each year. According to Glassdoor, data analysts average around 108K per year, whereas data scientist averages around 157k per year and data engineers average around 130k per year. Data engineers actually make more than data analysts on average. According to LinkedIn, data scientists job openings are around 7,000, data analysts are around 9,000, data engineers are around 9,000. If you add that up, it's more than 25,000 jobs. And along with this, you will also have BI analysts, business analysts also into the mix. Enough about 
tech related masters what about non tech three non tech masters degree that you can do if you are from a non tech background the first one is going to be ms in electrical engineering we have bachelor's in electronics electrical communication all that falls under ms in electrical engineering in us electrical engineers are in a lot of places so whether it's building of EV vehicles. So according to the data, it's projected that EV vehicles are going to be 40% of the job market by 2030. Wearable devices like smartphones, smartwatches, or even smart dresses, and even in robotics and AI field, electrical engineers play a huge role because robots are now actually being used in the assembly lines to build vehicles or devices, etc. And now according to Bealis, there were around 300,000 jobs in 2022. It's expected to create around 17,000 jobs each year. And the expected growth rate electronics engineers is 7%. percentage electrical and electronics engineers combined is 5 percentage the supply of electrical engineers is lesser but to our computer science or data science so there is going to be less competition for all these jobs according to glassdoor electrical engineers make a lot from 110k to 185k which averages around 142k per year so next one is ms in industrial engineering so what industrial engineers do they focus on increasing productivity and efficiency they integrate efficient processes into the current existing flow they do supply chain management they implement quality control procedures to ensure that the products meet standards so they are going to be there in different sectors like healthcare manufacturing retail logistics especially in today's world companies are always looking to reduce the overall cost for the companies and hence they constantly looking for industrial engineers to optimize the production process manage the supply chain and logistics and increase automation as well according to the bealers there were around 327000 jobs in 2022 expected to grow by 12 percentage by 2032 number of job openings expected is 23000 each year for industrial engineers so according to glassdoor industrial engineers on average or range from 92k to 145k per year which averages to 115000 dollars per year ms in mechanical engineering mechanical engineers are literally everywhere all the machines that we use all the vehicles that we drive to the airplanes that we fly to the medical devices all have been designed and developed by mechanical engineers so the world cannot survive without them so it's still going to be a field with high demand and high pay so according to bealers there were around 286000 jobs in 2022 for mechanical engineers and it's expected to grow by 10 percentage by 2032 the number of job openings which is expected to be created is 19000 each year and according to glassdoor the peak for mechanical engineers can range anywhere from 106k to 175k which averages around 135k per year i have given you few degrees and few information to think about if you're deciding which field to pursue your masters in us so if you're someone who's specifically looking into getting into data analytics as a beginner without any experience then please check out this video where i have talked about the exact road map that you can take if you want to enter into data analytics without any experience please comment below if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions or topics or opinions and hit the thumbs up button and please to subscribe to the channel for more informational and educational videos like this see you again soon with another video bye